Hello everyone and welcome to the night episode of CPP Next. In this episode we will continue our discussion about compile time polymorphism. Let's start with a reminder and a new example of CRTP. So, as you can see, this works really great. We have constant time polymorphism, but we have a problem here. If we would like to create a collection of those animals, we won't be able to do it because each animal has an inheritance from a different type. That is because animal with dog is not equal to animal with duck. Those are different types. And that means if we will like and try to put them in one collection, we will not able to do that because those types are totally different. They are templated. So what can we do here? One of the possible solutions here is to write it and use it with a tuple. Let's try it and see if it will work in a loop. As you can see, we cannot use it this way because get function is using an NTTP. An NTTP must be a literal. It cannot be something that is known during runtime. And as we are using it here, it I is something that is only known during runtime and we cannot use it this way. As you can see, if I will change this to a literal, this will compile, but we still have a problem. And this problem is that we cannot just create those literals in compile time. For that, we need to use something that is called uh, index expansion or some interesting template tricks. I will not talk about those, but C17 has introduced a function that helps us with that that's called apply, and I will show you how to use it. As you can see, we got what we wanted, but we have a problem. This approach is not optimal because we need to know always what we are passing and we need to know all the parameters and use them at once with std apply. In other episodes, I will show you the better templatic way to do it, but let's leave it to those episodes. So what can we do here to actually fix that and make us feel like we are using normal polymorphism? Let's change our strategy a little bit and add another class to the mix. After creating this base animal class, we can actually create an array and use it as if it's regular polymorphism. And here we go. Animal zero has four legs and animal one has two legs, exactly what we wanted to have. But we have a problem here. Right now, this is not const expert time or compile time polymorphism. Because we have added virtual here, we have actually added a runtime polymorphism. And because of that, we cannot use it during compile time. So how can we fix this? With C20, we got something that's called const expression polymorphism. It's something that will help us write classes as if they are normal polymorphic classes, but they will be actually used during compile time. Let's look how to implement that. Here you can see that the results are exactly what we have expected them to be. We have written classes with virtual polymorphism that looks like virtual polymorphism. We got the same feeling, but it actually works in const expert time. And I want to show you that it actually works in const expert time.
here as you can see we have created an actual const expert doc const expert doc const expert array that actually contains the const expert pointers to those static objects and then a const expert int number of legs that has to be initialized during compile time and we can actually initialize it and everything is compiling and everything is used so as you can see c20 gives you the strength to write code that is more readable more usable and maintainable and if you have access to it please use c20 now, on a different note, don't forget that Core C++ is behind the corner and it's actually next week. Core C++ is a great conference when you can speak with like-minded people about C++ and learn new things. Uh, I hope to see you all and I hope to see you all at Thursday at my talk. Until then, like and subscribe and see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.